Many times people ask me to not start my audio cast with what I usually do. What I can tell you is that we have liars of America who play with police officers to do the distraction so a police officer might be able to steal something or take something or simply observe something or take something in. A few minutes ago, a police officer tried to play a game on me in his lie. And openly, the funny thing he doesn't realize is that I was told in advance by my angels around me that he would be trying to do that. And openly, I was guided to be prepared for that. And while he was talking, God said, you see, this is the guy we're talking about. He is a marvelous liar. Let him go. So I would let him go with my graciousness to say, I'm sorry, I apologize, but I'm in the middle of working. And what they like to do as assholes in the force is play that game as, I'm going to interrupt you so you can't get a fucking thing done. And the liars often do that. American citizens have rights, but the foolish from foreign countries like to play as if they're in charge of something they're never in charge of. They are never in charge of American citizens unless they can entice them with something immoral and illegal. The liars of America can play the sweetest, simplest, nicest little people, but they could be the enticements for the police. Meaning a policeman says, go do this, go give this, go provide this, and they don't give all they're assigned to do. The liars are not me, they might be you. That police officer asked me all sorts of inappropriate questions from the get-go, trying to insult me. And I basically told him, and I squared him, as any man would do, that's a rather marvelously inappropriate question to come from a stranger. So then he started to hem and haw as if he was somewhat special in needs, and he's not. And I've seen his face before, so I know he's a liar. But I also have seen his face almost on TV. And the marvelous thing about these guys is that they think they're so fly. He's coming up with a dog, and I told, and was told, prophetically, that he thought he might try to talk to me with his dog. I don't really buy that it's his dog. It could be his dog. He tried to play me with the story that he was living in his car and all this sort of shit to try to sound marvelous like me. The liar in him is the liar, you see. You see, Jesus Christ, the Lord above all, at least that's what Christians think, knows me. And if God is telling me this asshole is going to try to come and play at you, be prepared for that today, then I have a right to know that in every way. And prophetically, I was told that. I am often given prophetic wisdom about people and situations because of my submission to the Lord Odin. Now, if you don't know Odin, it's their job to go and research your own deity. If you don't know your own deity's history and lineage, then you're a fool, you see. Someone today at the ruler store who's done this before played me with bad food. I purchased a frozen pizza from the store, but the every day practically re receptionist not at all but cashier played me with a different pizza you see in their infinite wisdom they can use their intercom system to use security cameras to watch someone and watch me i picked up three pizzas for me because the lord said to then i made a move around the store and made a decision differently about what i might eat and more i returned two pizzas within that 60 second period of time of changing my mind and openly what I found interesting is I only kept one but I have cooked that pizza many many times after I've done my typical walk back from the store and the lie that that woman who's the cashier told herself was she could get one or she could hold one underneath the counter when she saw I had one and let it thaw for some more or did someone else who was a black player in that system of abuse decide to trade it out for me. The liars of America are still liars. They like to play games on behalf of the liars in the force. The liars in the force will eventually face God, but where will they end up and will it be odd to their ideas of life? You see, their idea of life is that I'm doing something right, I'm giving you some money, I now have the right to take something funny, and you don't. I printed on a little girl today a Hello Kitty umbrella. She apparently, according to God, likes Hello Kitty, but that's what I was told by the Lord to give her. Now, if she really does like Hello Kitty, then that little pink umbrella that I found in the trash cans behind some shop couldn't believe that some parent was throwing it all away, or did someone marvelously lose their life someday, or did they just decide not to give things to goodwill in some way? Or was it something that was marvelously that needed to be cleaned? And I encouraged her to sanitize the handle because it had been outside with me in the rain and openly she accepted it with grace. And her young man friend 
from Taiwan, who's a minuscule, minuscule, minuscule kind of a fellow, even shorter than me, and then he was about 26 according to him, but I really thought he was 23. Little Lee was a good approach to me. He was polite, he was kind, and he asked me if I was accepting donations. And that was really fine. But openly, he then proceeded to continue to talk with me. The Lord guided me to move around my podium area or the pillar that I sit behind to be out of the way from people and talk with them. But the whole time, I'm very mindful of what's happening in front of me, behind me, and beside me. You see, people often think that they're in charge of God's plans, and they're just not. You are not in charge of God's plans for you, and when you abuse the Lord's house, when you lie to yourself about what is and isn't your rights, you eventually end up in misery, difficulty, stress. I'm not in misery, I'm not in difficulty, I'm not in stress. I am mad at God, and I have the right to rage at the Lord. Just like Jesus raged in the temples where people were pilfering money from the poor. The liars of America think, I will give you this and then I will take something from you. Well, when people give me a gift, if the Lord says, please gift this to them, I gift it to them. But when people like that like to play games and put themselves into a tent or into a canvas or into a tarp where someone is seeking shelter, they've entered their home. When they put their hands into a bag, unzipping it, getting into things that are in it and steal half of a man's markers he just purchased, that is still a criminality, that is still a felony, and that is still offensive to me. There might be a handful of marvelous women around the community, but they could just be all players trying to attract someone who's not right for them. You see, women are wearing less and less clothing, women who are overweight are covering less and less, and I don't mean to be inappropriate, but I'm one of those guys that loves the reveal. And the reveal is what makes things real. I definitely am one of those fellows that if the girl's got a, a halter top on, I'm going to pay attention to not what you think. I'm going to be looking at her shoulders and in loveliness of her arms. You see, every man has a different, what I might quip and joke about his fetish. I don't have a fetish. I just like the lines of a woman's body. And I don't have to consider you a hottie. But when I make a decision about the one I want for my life and for my wife, I will make that decision for me. You will never fucking tell me who I'm going to love. 